Assalamu alaikum. This is Pedro Samina, your science teacher. Dear students, hope you all are fit and fine and stay at home to prevent coronavirus. And also maintain some hygiene guidelines. Wash your hands frequently with soaps, minimum 20 seconds. Maintain social distance, avoid touching eyes, toes and mouth. Cover your nose and mouth with uh, bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Take some vitamins like vitamin C, D and zinc. Take hot lemon drink and tea twice daily. Let's talk about our lesson topic. Today our lesson topic is the universe. Student, go to the uh, 52 page and chapter 8. Open your book. From this chapter, we are going to learn about the universe, the earth, the earth motion, the motion of the earth, the motion of the moon, uh, the causes of day and night, the causes of season change. We will be able to know about this topic. Okay, what is the universe? The universe. The universe is everything. We can touch, feel, sense, measure or detect. It includes uh, galaxies, stars, planets, and uh, dust, clouds, and even time. Now, follow the screen. When you look up at the night sky, you can see countless numbers of stars in the space from the earth with neckties. If you use a telescope, you can see these objects more clearly. The telescope makes far away objects seem larger. It helps us see further into a space. Scientists use this telescope to research on planets, stars and galaxies. What is telescope? Telescope is a tool that astronomer uses to see far away objects seem larger. Okay, and then let's, let's go to the next topic. Universe and the Earth. Size of universe. What is the size of the universe? Anyone don't know the size of universe? This is still expanding. How big is the universe? How fast can light travel? How can fast light travel? Here, make a list like the one shown below. Light can travel 3 lakh kilometer a second. Light can travel 3 lakh kilometer a second. Calculate how long it takes light to travel from the moon and the sun to the earth. We know light can travel 3 lakh kilometers a second. So, here the distance from the earth and the moon is given. Here is given the moon distance from the earth is 3 lakh 84,400 kilometers. And the sun distance from the earth is 15 crore kilometers. So, how long does it take the time by the light from the moon and the sun to reach earth? We can calculate the time as distance divided by the speed of light. So, 3,84,400 km is divided by 3 lakh km a second. Then, we get the time. We get the time that taken by the light from the moon. And... 15 crore kilometer is divided by 3 lakh kilometer. Then we can get the light from the sun to reach the earth. Then the distance from the moon to the earth is 3,84,400 kilometer. Light can travel at approximately 3 lakh kilometer a second. So light takes about 1.3 seconds to travel from the moon to the earth. We can get it to calculate, we can get it to divide it, uh, 3,84,400 is divided by 3 lakh. 
then we can get light takes about 1.3 second to travel from the moon to the earth and the distance from the sun to the earth is about 15 crore kilometer light takes about 8 minutes to travel from the sun to the earth we we'll get uh, we get we we'll get about uh, from the 15 crore is divided by 3 lakh kilometer then we uh, get uh, the 50, 500 seconds then we get 500 seconds 500 seconds convert the minute and then we get uh, uh, 8 minutes so like takes about 8 minutes to travel from the sun to the earth this means that we always see the sunlight that is emitted from the sun about 8 minutes ago okay the distance between the earth and moon follow the picture the student look at the picture but the distance between the earth and moon and the distance between the sun and earth if we are able if we are able to travel as fast as if we are able to travel as fast as light it would take 1 lakh 30 thousand years to go across the milky way galaxy milky way is one of the galaxies in the universe according to sir eddington on an average, a galaxy has 10,000 crores of stars. The universe is still expanding. We have already known about this, that the universe is still expanding. No one knows for sure about the size of the universe. However, we can get an impression how big the universe is from different scientific, scientific research. Astronomy. Astronomy is the study of the universe, such as the stars, planets, and space. Which is astronomy? What is astronomy? Astronomy is the study of the universe, such as the stars, planets, and space. And who is study of the universe, such as the stars, planets, and space, is called astronomer. Scientists use different technologies such as telescope to study the universe. We have already known about the telescope. Galileo, this picture is Galileo. Galileo invented and improved telescope that allowed him to see far into space. Using the telescope, he proved that the planets actually revolve around the sun. Galileo invented and proved that Earth revolves or planets revolves around the sun. Scientists are now using space telescopes and building a space station to study the universe. Okay, go to the, uh, let's go to the next topic. Uh, how does the earth move? Motion of earth. How does the earth move? We have already known that earth moves around the sun and other planets move around the Sun. The Earth is one of the planets in the solar system and the Earth is the third planet from the Sun. The Earth moves in a path around the Sun like other planets. The path. The path that Earth and other planets move around the Sun, around the sun is called orbit. The path where the planets move around the Sun is called orbit. The orbital motion of the earth around the sun is called revolution. The orbital motion of the earth around the sun is called revolution. It takes 365 days and 6 hours for the earth to complete one trip around the sun. This is called an year and one year. So, from the average discussion, we can know that what is orbit? What is revolution? What is orbit? The path that Earth and other planets move around the sun is called orbit. And the orbital motion of the Earth around the sun is called revolution. And to complete one trip around the sun, it takes 365 days and 6 hours. This is called on ER. While revolving the sun, Earth also spins. The Earth revolves around the Sun. While revolving the Sun, the Earth also rotates or spins on its edges. On its edges, like a spinning top. The spinning motion of the Earth on its edges is called Earth rotation. 
this is this is the axis line this is the axis line earth on its axis is called earth's rotation earth on its axis the spinning motion the spinning motion of the earth on its axis is called earth's rotation it takes 23 hours and 56 minutes for the earth to complete on full rotation on its axis which is measured as on day an axis is the imaginary line an axis is the imaginary line through the center of an object through the center of an object earth's axis goes through through the north and south poles earth's axis is tilt at some degree 23.5 degree here earth's rotation earth's orbit around the sun and rotation on its axis earth's orbit around the sun earth's orbit around the sun north to south north to south sun and rotation on axis what causes day and night? What causes day and night? The earth's rotation causes day and night. The earth rotation causes day and night. We have already known that earth revolves around the sun. When earth revolves around the sun, then earth also rotates or spins like a top. The earth is spinning on its edges on every 24 hours. This is why the sun rises in the morning and sets, sets in the evening every day. One side of the earth is facing the sun. Look at the picture. One side of the earth. One side of the earth facing one side of the earth is facing the sun, whereas the other side, one side of the earth is facing the sun, this side is day, and the other side, where is facing away from the sun, has night. So, one side of the earth is facing the sun, whereas the other side of the earth is not facing the sun. The part of the earth that is facing the sun has daytime, and the other side, the part of the earth that is facing away from the sun, has night. Sunrise and sunset. The sun seems rising in the east in the morning and then sets in the west as the day ends. This is because the earth is spinning on its axis from west to east. The earth is spinning on its axis from west to east but the sun seems rising in the east in the morning and then sets in the West at the day ends. As earth rotates, the sun appears to move from east to west across the sky. So from the above discussion, we have known about the telescope, about the universe, about the cause of days and night, and uh, we know about a scientist whose name is, uh, whose name is uh, Galileo who uh, first invented that uh, planets uh, um, revolves around the sun and uh, <clears throat> so uh, from this above dis from this above discussion we have already we have already known about the uh, about these topics uh, so uh, your homework will be your homework will be the sq The homework will be the SQ explain the causes of seasons or no, the, the SQ. What are two motions of the earth? What are two motions of the earth? We have already known about the motions of the earth. What are the two motions of the earth? The two motions of the earth, one is devolutions and the second is the earth motion. What causes day and night? The earth motions is the causes of day and night. Why do the phases of the moon take place? Why do the phases of moon take place? No, 
What is the difference between planet and satellite? Why does the temperature rises in the summer? Okay, your um, uh, homework will be 1 and 2, SQ 1 and 2. Okay, that's all. Uh, no more today. Uh, thank you.